Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nice to meet you again with Memeka On the subject of Intensive course listening For the first semester of English education Study program Sultan Agung Islamic University Okay students Last week learning We learned about the story And then you have to understand about the detailed story and then find out some answers related to the story of the audio and now we are going to catch about the story again but the in this story you are going to know about the moral values are in the story so you are going to listen for the full story today and then after you listen to the full story at the end at the final you have to write down about the moral value from the story before we come to the listening of the story Ueka will deliver first about what are values and how many types of values that you are going to uh, listen but actually you are going to listen only one but there are so many types of values okay Ueka will explain first about types of values okay there are six types of values that you are going to learn for today's but not all of them will be listened or will be known from the story but we are going to listen and find out about two kinds of values only on social values and moral values but actually for both of values both of them are similar okay related to the types of the values actually there are six values in our life yeah the first is about social values and then the second political values the third is religious values and then the fourth work values and then the fifth moral values that we are going to learn and then the sixth the last will be recreational values okay from the six of them we are going to learn only focus on the two of them only social values and moral values because both of values are on the story yeah not only from the story of what is it a uh, fairy tale yeah but can be on the whole story on the narrative stories like legend we can find out on the legend on the folklore on the fairy tale yeah there are so many stories here in the world so i ever told you i ever explained to you about the definition of values in last week meeting and now here you are going to focus on the social and moral values okay students now we come to the definition of moral values what is moral value moral values are individual values about what someone thinks is right and wrong. I ever explained to you too on last week meeting. And moral values provide the foundation 
from which someone make decision. And the morals here, when we talk about morals, morals are learned from your parents or your experiences. So the morals here comes from your experience, from your parents and your experience for from yourselves, okay, or yourselves experience. And then Anna Baker will give you uh, the examples of moral values, yeah, the, the moral values here are familiar to anyone, yeah, in our daily life, yeah, so we can catch also and use also from the story. For example, like the moral values of being honest and trustworthy. Secondly, being courageous. The third moral, like never giving up. Okay, this is also moral values. Just an example, three examples, that's enough. How about social values? We come to the definition of social values first. Social values here consists of things like peace, justice, freedom, equality, and bettering our community. Yeah, so the social values consists of all of them. And then the examples now about the social values. Okay, now I deliver the examples of social values, just three of them. For example, like being respectful and courtesies in your interactions. This is the example of social values. The second example, like being generous with what you have. This is the second example. And then the longest one, the third example, not hurting others and also standing up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Okay, this is the social values or the longest one. And now, between moral values and social values, both of them are related to each other. Yeah, so they have relation to each other. But sometimes the society, yeah, the public will use both of them will use moral and social values together because they are similar, they are the same, yeah? So we cannot, we cannot distinguish one and another because both of them are similar. Moral and social values are often one and the same. But moral values are based on perception of right and wrong. Whereas social values may also include ideas about things being socially acceptable. So social values are often based on things like majority rule and tradition okay i hope that you can catch my explanation yeah about moral values and social values but the important one is 
moral and social are often one and similar the same okay but only as the point the social values are often based on things like majority rule and tradition okay but actually both of them are the same and now it's time for you to practice yeah whoever will deliver three stories here you are going to listen just a short story not long story whoever will deliver three short stories here and then you are going to guess what is the moral value of each story okay now it's time for you to listen for the first story listen a lion was once sleeping in the jungle when a mouse started running up and down his body just for fun. This disturbed the lion's sleep, and he woke up quite angry. He was about to eat the mouse when the mouse desperately requested the lion to set him free. I promise you, I will be of great help to you someday if you save me. The lion laughed at the mouse's confidence and let him go. One day, a few hunters came into the forest and took the lion with them. They tied him up against a tree. The lion was struggling to get out and started to whimper. Soon, the mouse walked past and noticed the lion in trouble. Quickly, he ran and gnawed on the ropes to set the lion free. Both of them sped off into the jungle. Okay students, after you listen to the fourth story, and now, you are going to guess first. What is the moral value of the story? And we will deliver here about the moral value of this story. Is your answer similar to Bueka's answer? If it is similar, you are good. Okay, now it's time for you to check for the first audio. The moral story is... Okay, and now we come to the second story. Listen again to the second story here from the audio and then you are going to find and guess and also predict what is the moral value of the second story. Listen now. In a village, lived a carefree boy with his father. The boy's father told him that he was old enough to watch over the sheep while they graze in the fields. Every day, he had to take the sheep to the grassy fields and watch them as they graze. However, the boy was unhappy and didn't want to take the sheep to the fields. He wanted to run and play, not watch the boring sheep graze in the field. So, he decided to have some fun. He cried, Wolf! Wolf! until the entire village came running with stones to chase away the wolf before it could eat any of the sheep. When the villagers saw that there was no wolf, they left muttering under their breath about how the boy had wasted their time. The next day, the boy cried once more, Wolf! Wolf! And, again, the villagers rushed there to chase the wolf away. The boy laughed at the fright he had caused. This time, the villagers left angrily. The third day, as the boy went up the small hill, he suddenly saw a wolf attacking his sheep. He cried as hard as he could, Wolf! 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 But not a single villager came to help him. The villagers thought that he was trying to fool them again and did not come to rescue him or his sheep. The little boy lost many sheep that day, all because of his foolishness. Okay students, how about the second story? Is it easy for you to catch about the moral value of the second story? Now look at the answer. What is the moral value of the second audio? Okay, 
Okay. This is the answer for the second story. And now we come to the third story. Listen again to the third story and then you are going to find and also write again about the moral value of the third story. Okay, listen now. One day, a selfish fox invited a stork for dinner. Stork was very happy with the invitation. She reached the fox's home on time and knocked at the door with her long beak. The fox took her to the dinner table and served some soup in shallow bowls for both of them. As the bowl was too shallow for the stork, she couldn't have soup at all. But, the fox licked up his soup quickly. The stork was angry and upset, but she didn't show her anger and behaved politely. To teach a lesson to the fox, she then invited him for dinner the next day. She too served soup, but this time the soup was served in two tall narrow vases. The stork devoured the soup from her vase, but the fox couldn't drink any of it because of his narrow neck. The fox realized his mistake and went home famished. Yes. We come to the final story that you have to guess about the moral value of the story. Okay. What is the moral story of the third story here? Look at this. Nice time for you to practice. Huega just delivers three stories and then give you an example about the statement of the moral value and the social values of the story. And now you have to practice seven stories. Ueka will deliver the audio on after this and then you have to answer the moral value statement yeah on the comment of this video on the seven because at the first Ueka has delivered three audios and then we answers together and now it is time for you to practice yourself so you have to listen seven audios here and then write down on the comment of the video seven moral values of the stories okay students have a nice practice have a nice learning and also, please, you have to learn some vocabularies and deliveries on the story. So you are going to understand and catch the pronouncing from the author of the story. Okay, have a nice learning and I will wait for your answers of the statement of the moral value. Thank you very much for this learning and then we are going to continue our learning of listening for the intensive course listening for the next week meeting. Don't forget to ask me by using we are group if you still have difficulties to understand about this material. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi